Good evening, Chad. I'm at the intersection of Silver Street and Van Buren, where police are trying to get a suspect out of the house behind us. It's on 904 Silver Street. They've set a perim perimeter around the area. Um, what we know is that they sent in a special uh, response team trying to get the, the sub suspect out of the house. Right now, uh, they keep shouting, come out with your hands above us about every one to two minutes. And also that it's about the kid in there, not about you anymore. So there is a kid in there. We don't know exactly what is happening in the house, how many people are inside the house, but we do know that there is a kid in there. They are trying to keep that kid safe and want the suspect to come out of the house with their hands above the head. Now, this has been going on since about 3 p.m. today. It's what started in a foot pursuit, ended up inside this house. Now, about 45 minutes ago, there was a neighbor trying to get into her house. They told this neighbor to run into her house. So it does appear to be a pretty dangerous situation. There are about 10, 12 cop cars around the area. We're not sure about how far the perimeter is, but people are not allowed to enter or leave this perimeter. They are trying to get the suspect out of the house. Um, guns are drawn. We can see if we zoom in over here again that there are police with guns drawn behind their cars. There is what appears to be a tank in the area as well. Now, earlier we did see canine dogs and uh, what appears to be uh, some type of special response team in the area as well as Rapid City Police Department. Um, they keep announcing it every one to two minutes. Uh, that's all that we are able to know right now. We'll bring you the very latest as soon as we know more about who's inside that house, when the person's going to come out, why they decided to run. Um, and we'll bring you the very latest as soon as we have that information. Reporting live in Rapid City, Stephanie Kayser, News Center One.